What's going on, everybody? How you guys all doing? I'm back on Rust console, and we're on a monthly server today. And I've got one one plan in mind, one goal for the wipe, which is uh, I just want to build. Like, I I modified a base, like one of my favorite solo bases of all time, the Wheel Gym Tower. I've modified it to what I I personally think is actually like better, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm so excited to build it. Yeah, that's like the main goal for this wipe is to build an awesome base. So yeah, let's get uh, let's get started, man. And up here near sewer is kind of looking nice to me right now. Oh, <laughs> this server is active, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. There's people- <laughs> all these bases are active, what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> you fucked him up. <laughs> that looks like a betrayal to me if I've ever seen one. Okay, I've got a bit too much, so I'm gonna do a recycle. Get a few stashes down, and then just, yeah, start farming, pretty much. Yeah, I don't want to choose a base location in the night because then there'll be like some massive zerg base right next to me that I don't see. This area seems active though, a lot more active than what I thought it was going to be to be honest. Whoa. Yeah, oh, there's nodes around here, hell yeah. also roof campers with suppressed M2s by the sounds of it. So many nodes though, holy. I'd had a fairly uninterrupted start to this solo wipe, and as I scaled to the top of this snowy mountain near sewer, I found the perfect place to put down a starter base. Ooh, this spot could be perfect. Although this area was pretty active, and there were some roof campers nearby, I was confident I could make it work. Yeah, look at him, man. <laughs> what the fuck? So I collected the loot from my stashes and went over to put down a starter. I went out for another farm run, and would find out that progressing in this area might not have been as easy as I originally imagined.
same dude. Fuck me. He's just a farm bot, man. Holy. He might not, he might not find my nodes. <laughs> Seems like a bit of a potato. No way, he didn't find them. You thick bro. <laughs> I literally had no farm on my buddy, like what do you think? But after running through sewer for the first time this wipe, I got pretty lucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. No way. Oh man, I really don't want to die now. Ooh. So good. As the sun rose the following day, I started to expand the base. This design is honestly pretty crazy for a solo. Depending on how you want to build it, it's pretty small and compact, with a ton of loot storage, and it's also easily expandable into a fortified solo tower. But my favourite part of this base is it's got two bunkers that are really easy to utilise if you know how they work. man. So yeah, now we can chop this out as well, this wall. It's going to be extra storage. And we can chop this out as well. But I think I'll just do that before I log off. But yeah, I think we'll hit up, hit up sewer real quick. See if we can get a decent, like, tool, maybe. Get lucky with a weapon. Because yeah, we're going to be having to run sewer quite a bit this wipe. It's going to be our main source of uh, scrap and comps. Eh, not bad. Bit of high qual. Ooh, nice. Get a med syringe from that. Same guy, man. He's not even wearing a helmet, dude. Dying to this guy was pretty annoying. I'd lost all of my scrap and a bunch of useful components. That was definitely going to set me back a bit. But anyway, I decided to turn my attention back to farming so that I could fortify the base before I had to log off for the night. Guess we just farm, really. Don't really know what else uh, to do right now. I think we just farm up. I'll use the morning when it's um, quiet to get a bunch of comps. So I sealed up the stability bunker and logged off for the night with a plan to get up early and progress while the server was quieter the next morning. Okay. 
see you guys uh, sometime soon. Alrighty, it's the beginning of day two. I really hope we're alive, man. Hey. Oh man, someone actually tried to raid. <laughs> That's so lucky. Ah, oh, they didn't kill me. What the hell? Didn't want me to know who it was. It's more than I thought, to be honest. It's like 7 in the morning. <laughs> there's like 40 people online. Like normally at this time in the morning, there's like 12 people online. So, but yeah, we'll still be able to get a good little start this morning. So let's get to it. I think we'll farm up for a door before we open the bunker. Oh, the other one's getting raided? Dude, DB. Do I risk it? <laughs> Try and make a play? <laughs> Just in case. I heard turrets, so maybe they um, got screwed by the turrets or something. Damn it. I was trying to get them both. Hey, you know what? Let's um call in this airdrop. This will do. C4? <laughs> I scored a C4 from the airdrop, but also two customs and pistol bullet, which was kind of huge for me because I had no blueprints on the server. Finally I had something to defend myself with, and right on cue, as I returned to base, I heard someone farming with a jackhammer, so I went to check it out. Interesting. Oh my god. We gotta get to base and turn off the furnaces and seal the bunker. <laughs> Jesus, that's so much sulfur. <laughs> oh, and a fresh Jackie. Not to mention the MP5, probably.
Holy shit, dude. That is such a W. <laughs> yes. Jack Mac. Oh, this guy's not looted either. Tommy? What? Ah, oh, he couldn't get up. He couldn't reach. Oh, he had a jacket. Oh my god. Tier 2. Man, tier 2 is so good. <laughs> Can't believe that guy didn't come back. He would have got all his shit back. And the raid. This was a pretty huge come up for me. I scored an MP5 set, a Thompson, and two jackhammers. Not to mention two rows of sulfur. But when you take a loss like that in Rust, most people don't take it lightly. So for the next couple hours, every time I left the base, I made sure to seal the bunker so that I wouldn't get raided while I was away. Now that the raid on the roof camper base had settled down, I decided to head over and see if I could score some scraps. What? Dude. Dude, what the hell? Oh my god. What? <laughs> Jesus. Man, those guys must have been so loaded. That's rough, man. Those guys grinded so much yesterday, <laughs> by the looks of it. Just to get offline. Oh my god, man. <laughs> what? Jesus, man. Well, I guess now we can, like, focus on farming because at least I got a few guns to fall back on. Honestly, man, 50 metal frags for each time you leave the base is such a small price to pay, <laughs> small price to pay for saving, saving my ass if I get raided while I'm gone. Oh shit. A good depot, and then we'll go check it out. Man, the nodes around here are kind of crazy. <laughs> so good. Ah, oh, the Jackie just makes all the difference. Do all those farm runs, and this base is going to go up real fast. There's still only 40 people on, so I'm going to go have a run for that crate and just see. Just see if anyone's yoinked it. You never know. I feel like crate loot is kind of ass anyway, so lots of people don't go for it. It's not worth losing your kid over a lot of the time. Oh, is that it just there? <laughs> no one's gone for it. Hey, let's go. I would take that any day of the week. Thank you very much. Cool. Okay, we need storage. I 
I had snowballed pretty hard this morning after calling in this airdrop. So it was definitely time to upgrade the base for more storage and to allow me to add the second bunker. TC's all honeycombed, pretty much. Sweet. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna put down the second, the second bunker, which is what makes this base really cool. Is it's just like it's so unique. I haven't seen it before. Okay, I really hope this works. So it's gonna be a higher foundation. What? What do you mean? I've seen people do it with nine. We could try nine triangles. It's promising. <laughs> okay, it's working. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's working. So good. So we just upgrade this to wood. Just as a placeholder so that the... Pretty much the idea is that like, if you guys haven't seen this bunker before, the idea is that the triangle that I build on top of here is attached to that offset foundation so that its stability is really low. And by building this triangle here, which attaches to the main base, it just makes sure that you, like, allows you to put the um, offset triangle in the right spot every time. That's why it only needs to be wood. Hell yeah, man. We have a double bunker. Now we're gonna start farming to upgrade this bad boy. So I think I might actually keep this as, I keep this here as the jump up for now. So the way this roof looks is, this is jump up here. So good. I feel like that little window is going to get me raided though. Nice, man. Nice. Okay. 
I think we'll put some furnaces up here for now. Make some space downstairs. And we can change this to a tier 2. Alright, we're cooking. I think we just do one bunker for now. Like, while I'm online. We just do the one bunker and then anytime I log off, I'll um, seal up both. Starting to come along. We're getting there, man. We got a dude out here. He's got a pickaxe or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, so good. Ah, uh, yes, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got it. Thanks for the raid. Man, this thing is loaded. <laughs> Can't soft side any wall, Brady. Hey. You me? Yeah, I am. Why did you take my place? We stole this from Kid Fair and Square. Sorry. It's mine now. Why do you sound like you're three, bro? You sound like you're two, bro. Hey, what are you talking, are you talking about? about? You give my base back, or we're gonna have to go through this the hard way. I told you we could split it. <laughs> let's, let's do it He's the hard quiet. way. That sounds good. 
If I had an upper sleeping bag, I could just make it like a suicide bunker because there's a drop box in here. Dude, this thing's loaded. I'd taken over the raid, but they still had the outer door. And without any cloth to make a sleeping bag, I had no choice but to die and spawn at base and see if I could make a play from the outside. I don't know if that was the right decision, man, because with their door closed, I can't get back in. Get shit on, dude. Ah, uh, get shit on. That was a chainsaw. Nice. Man, this thing is loaded. <laughs> it's loaded. This wooden base was kind of loaded, so after a while, once things had settled down, I transferred all the best loot back to my base. Uh, let's go, man. Holy. <laughs> Holy... So from here, it's pretty like, pretty simple really. We just go, we just keep building up for a couple levels. One more story up, and then we'll build the uh, the shooting floor. Yeah, we're gonna start getting some organization up in here because this is starting to get out of control. <laughs> I cannot believe how much loot we have. Like what? I think that tier 2 just saved me so much. So much time and scrap. But I mainly want to get garage doors down here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So I need 8 gears. I spent the next half hour or so gathering comps so I could get garage doors down. And then I did some much needed loot organization. Shortly after that, I was out farming some wood, but I pretty quickly got distracted. Hold up. Surely not. Surely that guy didn't just come from cargo by himself. Oh, he's farming. He 
saw me. doing I need a green card <laughs> I need a green card fresh Jackie too man what are these guys doing he's so loaded he's got the decked out Tommy Dude, I gotta, I gotta expand my base, man. We got a honeycomb upgrade. Oh my god, actually loaded. Actually loaded. Oh shit. I'm kind of liking the custom right now. I'm not gonna lie. Man, I've barely farmed. Like, really. I've gone out for one farm run. Okay. So I'm gonna build, like... I think I might build the tower. Like, the, uh, the shooting floor. And then after that, we're gonna focus on honeycomb. And then we might, like, once we've honeycombed, I think we might put down a compound before we build the tower. That way we can get the large furnaces down. I think that's right. Go down and make sure it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Get one of these T's into me. I think it gives you a half hour of increased yield. Unless you die, then. 20% ore. That is insane, how fast. <laughs> that's we seven minutes, not even, to get a full invent, and that's only with the basic OT. That's crazy. I mean, this area is exactly what I wanted it to be in terms of nodes. It's really good for nodes. That's a pretty nice view. <laughs> the console. Not a bad little view. Okay, let's try and put this down properly this time. Okay. 
Maybe not the smartest idea, but... He's got a jackie, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I mean, it was a calculated decision. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh wait, that was my Harvey's account. Sweet, we're good. I'm gonna leave that wood for now so that I can put the um, wind turbine down when I get it. puzzle. I think now's probably a good time to seal up the bunker. Although I'm so close like I'll be able to just spawn back. <laughs> Look at the tower. Oh uh, boy. It's coming along. Looks like E.T. <laughs> it looks like E.T. from here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I feel like I've made some enemies, but like no one's really tried to retaliate. It's kind of weird. Lots of gears is what we want. Card, lovely. Stone wall. Ooh, do I stone wall my compound this way? I normally wood wall it, but I haven't got the BP, so. I think it's 500 scrap though, that's pretty pricey. If I have... Uh, I don't know if I have the stone, actually. I'd made some great progress today, but desperately needed scrap, so that I could tech tree down to the high wooden wall and compound my base. So I took a bunch of my best comps and went down to sewer to recycle.
I'll leave. No, dude. No, dude. I had lost it all, and as you can tell by the tone of my voice, I was pretty demoralized. But then something happened that I definitely didn't expect. Ugh, fucking quick chat. Serious? That's actually outrageous. Oh shit. Man, what a like what a nice guy. my perspective is broken. That is actually insane. I don't think that's ever happened to me in Russ. He even left me some fish boots <laughs> some fish flops he's probably like ah we're gonna we're gonna offline rage you tonight anyway so might as well keep the loot <laughs> i would continue playing with the aim being to put down some external tcs and turn my solo tower into a compound i was pretty interested to see how my base would hold up against any raids and i can assure you this base was more than tested in that regard but I ended up playing a few more days on this wipe. So you guys will have to tune in to next week's video to see if I would survive this harsh solo world of rust. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as you can see, we are just around the corner for 50,000 subscribers. And I've recorded a really special wipe that I'll be sharing with you in the next few weeks. Take it easy guys. I'll see you soon.